Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome to the first pre-release of Minecraft 1.10. That is right ladies and gents, this is a pre-release and not a snapshot. This is one of the final editions of the update before the official update releases. So what's changed? Well, not a lot really, but there are a few new features and a few bug fixes that I thought I'd run through in today's video, so let's crack on. But before we begin, let's take a look at some of the original changes for the Minecraft 1.10 update. So first off, we've got three new mobs, the first one being the Husk, which only spawns in hot climates, and it gives the hunger effect upon attack. Next up, we've got the Stray. This guy right here shoots arrows just like a skeleton, but they give the player slowness, which is a very bad thing. But the good news is, is that when you kill it, you do have a chance of getting an enchanted arrow, which is pretty cool. Then finally, over here, we've got ourselves the Polar Bear. This guy only spawns in cold climates. He's absolutely lovely when he doesn't have a cub, but as soon as he does have a cub, he becomes really quite aggressive indeed. Then of course we've got the four new blocks for Survivor Minecraft. First up we've got the Nether Warp block, then we've got the Red Nether Brick block, the Magma block, and the Bone block. These two right here are definitely very interesting for me. Magma block because it's got some pretty awesome properties, for example standing on top of it will actually give you fire damage, which is pretty cool, and Bone block simply because it means I can store loads and loads of bone meal in rather nice looking blocks. And finally one of the big changes for Minecraft 1.10, especially in terms of map making, is the structure block. This thing right here is absolutely awesome, it allows you to save structures, clone structures, move structures around, rotate structures, and all those good things. And I'll put links down in the description for tutorials on how to use these, because they're incredibly powerful. And that, my friends, is Minecraft 1.10 in a nutshell. That is all of the new features that are being added in this latest update, which is really quite exciting. But Minecraft 1.10 pre-release 1, which is what we're covering in this video, is basically a ton of bug fixes. And I mean a ton of bug fixes. I'll put all of them down in the description, but some of the more noteworthy ones are, first off, they have fixed the Ender Dragon not moving. Now this actually happened to us on the Hermitcraft server in Minecraft 1.9, so clearly this is a slightly older bug, and it made the Ender Dragon really very easy to kill, so that has now been fixed. There has also been a bunch of tweaks with magma blocks and the way that mobs interact with them. So for example, when you chuck a witch down on a magma block, it will immediately start taking a fire resist potion. Now this didn't happen originally, originally the witch just died, but now by the look of things that has changed, and the witch it seems to react really quite quickly and take that fire resist potion pretty fast, so that's something to watch out for. Mobs now also avoid standing on magma blocks, so for example if we place down a creeper right here, as you can see, he will stay on this block, he won't move off the block, or at least that's what it said in the patch notes, but by the look of things, that still needs a little bit of tweaking because, well, he just walks straight onto there and is now taking a lot of damage, so maybe that one needs a little bit of work. And finally, the last magma block change that I can see in the patch notes is the fact that mobs should no longer be spawning on top of a magma block. So let's open up the mob farm world. Okay, so there's a bunch of mobs here already, and I can see mobs spawning. <laughs> so, by the look of things, nothing has changed here either. I mean, yeah, there's definitely mobs spawning around us. So, yeah, this change hasn't quite worked either. By the look of things, a few of the bug fixes that have been featured in the Minecraft 1.10 pre-release 1 haven't quite worked as intended. Aside from those semi-successful bug fixes, we also have a few fixes in terms of villages and the way that villages spawn. We've also got some changes to structure blocks and the way that it was rotating certain blocks and mob heads, for example, and a few other bits and bobs, once again, can all be found down in the description. But for the most part, it's all bug fixes and isn't going to be particularly interesting. Now, the main reason why I made this video, despite there not being too many changes in this latest pre-release, is because it has shown a massive change in attitude by the guys over at Mojang. A pre-release means that, generally speaking, the update is feature complete and it will be rolling out over the next couple of weeks, which is awesome considering the most recent update, Minecraft 1.9, only came out a couple of months ago. Now this reminds me of the early beta days of Minecraft when a new update used to come out every couple months or so and there was always fresh content to play around with and I personally am very excited for this new change in style by Mojang because we waited around about a year and a half for Minecraft 1.9 and I know that left a lot of the community very disappointed. So this is awesome news for me, I absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of Minecraft 1.10 but unfortunately that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.